glycolysis. So when we have our glucose or we have glycogen, it can be broken down and this process is called glycolysis. So I like to break down the words and if you see my Biochem 101 video, we do that for a lot of the different biochem terms. But lysics, lysis typically are breaking something down and in this instance, glyco, we're talking about glycogen and glucose. So we have our glucose or our glycogen molecules. Um, glucose will probably get from some sort of carbohydrate. Um, but anyway, we have our glucose source, our sugar, and it can be broken down into glucose 6-phosphate. In order to do this, we have to have energy, so ATP, that's a triphosphate. Um, it loses a phosphate or glucose gets phosphorylated, so we have this phosphate group now attached to our glucose molecule, and we have ADP, which is a diphosphate, di so we have three phosphates going to two phosphates. That third one is hooked onto our glucose. Um, do you know we need magnesium? When we're going from ATP to ADP, magnesium is going to be involved. And this, um, I'm not sure of the exact, like, how, but I know our magnesium has that two valence, so it has that plus plus behind it. And it's helping yield um, some of the negative energy from the ATP. It needs that magnesium to help shield the negative energy. Um, but I just kind of remember it has that little two plus plus, magnesium plus plus. We have ADP, so dye, that's two. That kind of helps me remember that magnesium is involved when we have that energy or that phosphorylation going on. Um, I draw the glucose, and when I draw it down here, we've got that phosphate group stuck on it, so it's kind of like the ends cut off, right? Um, we also can get this glucose 6-phosphate from glycogen. Our glycogen here. Um, this is our storage form of glucose, so we know we can go glucose to store to glycogen. Um, so this is a reversible reaction. If we're wanting to break down glycogen, like in glycolysis, then our glycogen is going to use glucose 6-phosphatase, ACE being that little enzyme when you see ASE, and um, that's also going to yield glucose 6-phosphate. What, we, what happens there is this glucose 6-phosphate, there's a lot of reactions that go on, but it will yield pyruvic acid, and this has got three carbons, so I have a triangle here with three carbons. Um, I typically take my little glucose here and I think about cutting that. And now we've got pyruvic acid, which is a triangle, three carbons. Pyruvic acid, um, amino acids could be made into pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid can also go into the Cori cycle and make lactic acid, and that's an anaerobic reaction. It can go back and forth. That is reversible. Um, in our next video, we'll talk about the Cori cycle and what's going on there. So we have glucose or glycogen going to glucose 6-phosphate, going to pyruvic acid, and then our pyruvic acid is going to be going down to acetyl-CoA, and that's where we're going to start talking about our Krebs cycle.